Hello kids, uh, welcome back to our class and for today's project we're going to do a, a parrot from the tropics in the Amazon. It's called the blue and gold macaw and this is the project we're going to do and we're going to start by drawing our drawing on a piece of paper. We're going to use a regular piece of paper, not your watercolor paper because we can erase on this one. So we're going to start sketching. If you think that you need to erase, you can go ahead and, and get your proportions and you can erase on this paper, which is a, just a regular sheet of paper. Okay, this drawing will now be transferred onto your watercolor paper, and this is how we're going to do it. In order to transfer our drawing into the watercolor paper, we're going to take the actual pencil drawing, and we're going to turn it upside down, and we're going to put it on a window. Through the window, you'll be able to see the pencil lines that you did, and what you're going to do is you're going to go over them kind of dark with your pencil and that way you're creating a, a stencil where you're going to be able to transfer this onto your watercolor paper. What you want to do is you want to eliminate erasing over and over again on the actual watercolor paper so this is the best way to do it and transfer it onto the actual paper, watercolor paper that you're gonna draw. Go over each line at least twice. And these uh, stencils can actually be used over and over again if you do them right. So I like to keep mine in case I wanna do the painting again. I want to give another class. So here we are. And now we're going to transfer it to the watercolor paper. I have the drawing here, and this is what I went over it. I darkened it real dark on this side. So we're going to put it on the, on the watercolor paper. We're going to use masking tape. And then you're going to go very carefully over each pencil line that you did. And you just go over it once. And what you're trying to do is you're trying to eliminate all that drawing, all that erasing and correcting. You already corrected and erased on this one. Because this one you throw it away, but the actual drawing is gonna be on your watercolor paper. Every once in a while you can lift it, you can see how it's progressing, and as you can see, it's coming out fairly good, so you just do whatever is needed to finish it. This 
something right here. So we're going to start with a little bit of blue, dark blue. And uh, on this painting, we're going to use a lot of this one, the sky blue, which is more like a turquoise. And we're going to mix these together to the side over here. We're going to mix them both so we can create like a sky blue that we're going to use on the corner of the painting. So like our watercolor technique that we did last time, on the very corner, on the very corner of the uh, painting, up on the upper right hand side, we're going to get it wet, just this little corner right here. We're going to do like a tropical jungle and we just want a little bit of sky to show. So it's going to go up here. Very soft. This is a watercolor. So it's going to come out very, very soft. And it's just going to be in this part on the corner. And we're going to remove a little bit, make it look like a cloud. Okay. Okay, now we, uh, we added some yellow to the palette. Always remember to rinse your brushes. And we're going to use uh, a lot of yellow on the background. So we're going to paint around the bird with the yellow. A little bit of water and then we get some more yellow. Now we're adding some green to our palette right here next to the next to the yellow. And what we're gonna do is a uh, We're going to mix a little bit with the yellow and we're going to go ahead and just get this uh, light green and you know have fun don't don't relax while you're doing this because we want to get the we still haven't gotten into the detail of the painting so right now we're just having fun and we're getting the lime green color that's going to be Later on, we're gonna go with a darker green. So, but right now we're just adding this green all over the yellow that we have added before to create this lime green. Remember, we're trying to get a real nice tropical look. So that's why we're getting this really nice colors. So we're getting this green on all the yellow. And while you're doing this, uh, you can Go ahead and add some some big brush strokes like this, kind of look, make it look like leaves. So what I want is I want a real dark, a real dark green. So we're adding some more green. We're adding more a green here, and uh, we're actually going to add dark blue. And we're going to mix it together to create a real, real dark green. And uh, this is going to be our background. 
and we can check it out to see how what it looks like by putting some on the paper. And that's what I see the kind of texture that you get when you when you paint with your brush. A lot of times just by Depending on the on how you squeeze your brush, you can create some real cool looking texture. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to make it look like a, like a tropical jungle. And then like these strokes here, you know, you can make it look like leaves that are far away here. Get some more green. And like I said, it's the idea is to have fun. See, like these strokes, you can make it look like there's leaves that are far away. There you go, you're adding more and more green. And then what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna start painting around the bird, the actual bird, this dark green color. And I'm gonna start painting all around it because I'm gonna want dark green. I'm gonna want it surrounded by dark green. So I'm gonna get a smaller brush and I'm just gonna paint around the whole bird. Okay, we're mixing a, a dark green. So we're adding blue, very little blue, but a lot of green. And I even added a little bit of brown from our kit, our drawing paint set. So what I'm getting is I'm getting a real dark blue. And with your big brush, The way you do it, you can just get this real cool look like this, this real nice look that kind of makes it look like a leaf, a big leaf. And you can just add some of these randomly. We already did the dark green all around the bird, so now we're just adding some more detail. Okay, uh, we're ready to start painting on the bird. And what we're going to do is, uh, we're going to paint the yellow part of the bird, so I'm going to pour some yellow. And this is going to be straight, no water, just straight yellow. And we're going to paint the... the actual bird. The wings are blue, and the top of the crown of the head is that turquoise blue, but the belly and the, the tail, the middle of the tail is, is yellow. So that's what we're doing, we're gonna paint that. And then after we do this, we're gonna wait for it to dry. We have the light blue color, which is a turquoise blue, and that's what we're gonna start painting the bird with. It's a perfect color for this bird, using a medium-sized brush. We're gonna go ahead and paint the bird. Later on we'll add some shadows and some highlights, but first we're just gonna go ahead and paint it with this turquoise blue. And then make sure your dark green is dry so the two colors don't mix while you're doing it. We're gonna paint the branch. We have brown. We have brown here, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a little bit of uh, blue. 
make it darker. We're going to do the branch and it's going to go all the way to the edge of the paper. Add in some more blue to make it darker. Add a little bit of curve to it to make it look natural. Okay, we're gonna do the feet and the bill. So we're getting a little bit of white here. We're gonna make some white. And uh, first for the for the feet, it's like a light gray. So we got a combination of the two blue colors with a little bit of brown. Add some more white to it. blue and there you go there's our color for we're gonna come back and add shadows to everything the branches the feet And then for the bill, we're going to go a little darker. So it's the same thing, but we're adding more uh, dark blue. We're going to come back with a black crayon to add some more darkness on the bill. But for the base color, this is what we're going to use. A very, very dark gray. There's also, uh, this bird has uh, has this dark color right here. I got some white here and I'm mixing a little bit of green and a little bit of yellow. And just a little touch of blue. A little bit more green. And that's gonna be all right. Good. 
Okay, now we're gonna do the detail on the wings and uh, with a pencil. I'm gonna draw some feather detail here. And then the wings, actually, I'm gonna make them coming out this way, the tips of the wings. And right now I'm gonna add that detail to the painting. dark blue and uh, we're doing this detail here on the wings and it looks really nice with that other blue the contrast as it provides it's starting to look a lot better and these are the wing tips we're doing the wing tips dark blue Don't forget to post your paintings. And then we're gonna add some down here in the tail, right here at the base of the tail. Get some contrast between the, the blue and the yellow. We're gonna get some contrast here with this dark blue. And then we're going to come back and we're going to add some details with actually use the crayons that's, uh, that are on your set. We added some crayons, so we're going to add some details with crayon as well. Mixed the, the turquoise blue and we added some white. And what we're going to do is we're going to add some, some highlights parrot like especially up here where it comes together with the dark green and it's gonna look really nice it's gonna make a contrast or it's really gonna stand out Yeah, like you in here where the feathers, the dark green come together, we're gonna add some there. And right here where the, where the line of the dark and the blue, we're gonna add a line there to kind of show the, the detail of the feathers. And then we're gonna go back to turquoise and just add a line coming down the dark blue like this. We'll go back to that dark blue, light blue over here on this side. It's going to come all the way down the wing. And then we come back over here to the tail. Wash the brush and then we go back. We go back with that turquoise 
blue again. Right here next to that dark blue on the tail. Run it all the way down. We're going to go ahead and add some of that blue color right here. And that's where it, where it meets up with the yellow. This is where we're going to add this turquoise and kind of blend it out. Blend it out a little bit, but don't let it touch the light blue that we just added. This is just another layer of blue that we're adding. And we're adding that turquoise right there where it meets the yellow. All along where it meets the yellow and then we blend it outwards. Kind of like with a dry brush technique. And then we come back to the other side. Right where it meets where the yellow, that's where we're adding this other coat. And now, our next step is we're going to start adding detail to the face, the bill, and the eye. Okay, now we're going to start with our detail. We're going to add some, some uh, yellow, some darker yellow over here. It's going to be kind of like shadows, but we're also going to add some detail on, on these tail feathers. So I'm going to draw them. They come downwards like this. And we're gonna add that detail, but that's gonna be later. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get orange, and I'm gonna put it here next to the yellow. And you really don't need that much. I'm just gonna mix it. Basically, it's gonna be more yellow with just a little bit of orange. It's gonna create that rich, rich, dark yellow. And that's gonna go on this side over here. And then it's going to go here on the feathers, but I'm just going to put a very little bit on it. I'm going to come back with a smaller brush. Now I get a smaller brush. And now I can really get into the detail. And that's going to be on the feathers. Paint down the... And then you... Blend a little bit downwards. And same thing with this last feather here. You outline it and then you blend a little bit downwards. And then make another line here for another feather. The same color is gonna go right here, but you need a small brush to add it so you can get it in there. So it's gonna go right here. It's and basically what it is, is that same yellow, but it's like a shadow. And at the same time, you're you're creating texture and uh, and that's all here, right? Right where the yellow and the blue come together. Mix some uh, some dark blue and mix some brown together, and I make this real nice dark gray. So now we're going to start adding details. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the ring around the eye. This. And I'm also going to use this for the bill. Make it darker. It's a real dark gray. I'm going to come back later on with crayon to really make it darker. And then later on we're going to add some, uh, some highlights, but that comes towards the very end. Highlights are the shininess. And we're also going to add highlight to the uh, to the eye, but the highlights go at the very end. So right now we're just adding a dark gray to the bill. It's brown, dark blue, very little white. And then right now we're going to come back and we're going to add crayon.
dark gray. And we're also going to use this dark gray for the feet. We're going to separate the, the toes. And then right here at the bottom. Okay, our next step is going to be with crayons, and then we're going to start adding the highlights. Right in detail, and uh, we're going to use the uh, crayons from the art set. We're going to use a black crayon, and uh, right now we're going to use it for the bill. Adding uh, this makes this painting a mixed medium, because we're using different mediums. Make a line all the way down here. Beak. Maybe I'm going to add a highlight. Right here. Edge. Just real dark. We're also going to use the eye, center of the eye. We have some uh, some detail that we're going to add with the pencil. And then we're going to come back and we're going to do it with a crayon, real lightly. Little feathers, little black feathers that go in the And this is using the black crayon. Add a little shadow there. Okay, we have some white paint. And using the real small detail brush, this is a very important step. It's gonna bring our, our macaw, blue and gold macaw, it's gonna bring them to life. So first, a highlight, the very edge on the gray part. And the bill that goes all the way down, a nice straight line that comes down. And that's actually the bill where it shines. And then we put another one here. The bottom of the mouth, the beak. And we add some more color. And that's really bringing it out. And then we wash the brush. We dry it. Dry the brush, and then we come back with some more white. Make sure the brush, it's a detailed brush. Make sure it's nice and dry, and then you get a, some more white. And this is gonna go right inside and outside on the edge of the eye. That's the highlight of the eye. And that kinda brings them to life. We're gonna go ahead and, and get this white color and we're gonna add some highlight over here on the feet. Just a few scales that the, these big parrots have on their feet here. And this goes on the top part here so it can stand out. And we're almost done. Uh, we're gonna come back with some, uh, some dark blue to bring it out and uh, we're almost done with this painting. We're coming back. Uh, we're adding some of this dark blue here to the wings. We're getting some contrast here. And then uh, over here on this side, I need a little bit more blue over here. Creates a real nice contrast. A very little bit of it up here. And then we wash our brush. And our next step is going to be the highlight on the branch. I mixed brown, white, and added some yellow. And I came up with this color. And this is going to be our highlight on the very top 
part of the branch. Add a little bit more white. And this highlight giving the branch a lot of a more depth to the highlight. Don't forget to post your paintings. So we can see how you're doing, and uh, we're getting pretty close to finishing. Uh, we might add some more uh, green, but this is pretty much uh, green here. White with a very little turquoise blue. And this is gonna be a, a highlight that's gonna go right at the very edge. And it's gonna make it look, it's gonna make it stand out. With that dark green in the background, going to make our, our macaw stand out. So we're going to go just all the way down and then right here on the wings. We're going to go ahead and add a little bit here on the, on the wings down here and on the wing on the other side. Mixing it with a little bit of turquoise blue. And we're going back down here on the, on the detail on the wings. And this line, we're just gonna go ahead and do it over. Right here on the tail. Okay, uh, we're finishing up the painting and uh, we're using crayons. We're doing an added touch that uh, these birds have a, a light green crown right here in front of the beak. So we're adding that with a crayon, a little dark here. And then our next step is gonna be uh, a little added highlight here on the, on the beak. You can barely see it, but it's with white crayon. Just adding a little bit more highlight. And we have a shadow of this, uh, I'm using the orange crayon and very lightly on this side, we're using crayon on this side. Hope you've enjoyed the class and hope you join us on the next ones. Like I say, they're going to keep getting harder and harder. We're using this one to highlight the, the detail of the feathers down here orange crayon and the last touch is going to be the tail feather right here all the way down a little bit more orange over here on this side and then we're going to put some here as a little shadow of the bird and the branch just a little bit down here and that's pretty much it a little bit more orange here Well, there's our second painting, it's finished. I uh, hope you all had a good time and uh, don't forget to post your pictures, your paintings and uh, practice on your drawing. And we'll see you next time.